up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, DC Too Cool, back in for another video. Today's topic is Injustice 2 Review, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Story mode is great. Just like NetherRealm in their history of games, Mortal Kombat 9, 10, and the first Injustice, another great story here. I personally think this one is a better story than Injustice 1, although Injustice 1 was very good. I think they outdid themselves and made this one even better. I could play this game story two or three times and not get bored. The story runs about maybe six or seven hours depending on how long you're actually playing, but no problems with the story at all. So we got your practice, we got your tutorial, you know, we got your story mode, all that good stuff. Of course, we have online play. We also have a feature called the multiverse. The multiverse, basically, you go on these different planets and basically you compete um, for epic gear, you know, try to get your best gear for your character. Some of them are actually timed. Some of them may only be available for a day or for 10 hours or whatever the case may be. So it's a very unique uh, feature. The core gameplay is smooth fast the best gameplay I've seen from another realm thus far they definitely did their thing with this particular game you also have this cool feature online called the hot seat similar to king of the hill except that you keep playing whoever makes the hot seat uh, you can just keep playing so if you want to really get a challenge it's a really really good mode to, you know to test yourself and get better at the game of course you also have the option to play with you know a handicap on or if your gear that you acquire in the game on or off um, so, you know, you can play standard or with your gear buffs, which is a pretty cool option. Um, you know, a lot of people worry that the gear system is going to break the game. It doesn't. You have the option to play with or without it. And, you know, it can just look cool instead of actually having to, you know, put the stuff on. As I've said, though, the online play is very smooth. There's very little latency, if any at all. Most matches, I don't feel any latency at all. If I do feel some, it's very rare that I feel uh, any at all. If I do feel some, it's not enough to, you know, really change the game flow. Um, NetherRealm has a history of mediocre uh, online, at least in the beginning months, so he definitely rectified it. And Justice 2 is very smooth and good online. They also have this really cool feature for guild matches. So basically, it's you and two other friends, and you guys face a big boss. Um, a boss whose, you know, level is very high. You know, his damage, you know, is, you know, lessen severely he has a lot of health he does crazy damage on his attacks and it's pretty cool cause it actually encourages a lot of teamwork you know your friends can actually send out missiles or tornadoes you know to either freeze them or do them a little bit of damage to get them off of you they can bring out little health packs they can help you uh, re rebuild your uh, stamina meter and it's uh you know pretty much process process elimination so once your character gets knocked out or you know loses you know your next friend is up until all three of you have been defeated or you beat the boss or whatever the requirements are because some requirements are different uh some requirements are just do a certain amount of damage really cool feature makes me wish they had a tag team feature but you know Sound in the game is pretty good. Like I said, all the voice acting is good. And pretty much everybody from the first game reprised their roles in this game, along with newcomers of characters who weren't in the first game. Um, you know, and the big thing here is the interaction between the characters. And sometimes the interactions are even different. So check them out. There is no world beyond my reach. I protect Earth's people. And I will grind your bones to dust. Begin. You know how the other Green Arrow died? Heard he got sucker punched by Superman. History's about to repeat itself. The customization in gear in this game is staggering. It's overwhelming how much stuff you can get. There are so many different variations of things. There are so many different versions of things. So many different costumes. So many different colors. It's crazy. I mean, there's no reason you will go online and find a character that could be the same as your character and have the same thing on. It's almost virtually impossible. It is overwhelming how much content is in this game. The collectibles and items are in this game. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. It's not even funny. And even you can unlock abilities for these characters and you get two abilities as you level up from 10 to 20. And that's not even all the abilities in the game. 
you still get more. You also have the mother box system, which is how, you know, you get these, you know, pieces of armor or, you know, new accessories. And they go from anywhere from normal all the way up into epic. And obviously epic being the highest um, with the best stats. Um, and it's a pretty cool system. And they all have different tiers. Overall, Injustice 2 is a great fighting game. It has so much stuff. It has the multiverse. It has so many things to do offline, let alone online. The only problem with the game is, number one, spam can be a big deal online with people getting zone characters. It's not as bad if you learn how to play the game, but it still is bad enough to where it can hurt you. The roster also is an issue. It's in the fact, I don't like the fact that they made us you know, pay for some DLC characters in the roster in the first game, and they are not included on in the second game. They got rid of them completely. So, that bothers me. But those are the only two cons I would give the game. The game is almost flawless. So, it's a great game. Definitely highly recommend you go pick it up if you're into fighting games at all, or especially if you're into DC Comics. Um, it's a win-win in that regard. Game is so good. So, that's it for me. So, next video, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.